Brian Williams was twice the drink drive limit, doing up to twice the speed limit, and uninsured when he knocked Billy Harrison off his bike, killing the 21-year-old almost immediately. As Williams was sentenced today, Billy's devastated family was in court, clutching a box containing their son's ashes. Billy was a young man, he had his life ahead of him. He was our only son. We shall never see Billy make choices and achieve his dreams. Billy was killed by a selfish man who took choices. Williams took the choice to drink and drive. He took the choice to drive so fast and on the wrong side of the road at such speed they hit our son, killing him instantly. In time we will gather the strength and courage to move forward, but at this time we only feel empty and angry. It was about quarter to three in the morning on the 3rd of May when Billy Harrison and two of his friends left a nearby club and came here. Billy was cycling in the middle of the road while they decided where to go to watch the Ricky Hatton fight that was on that night. That's when Williams sped down this stretch of road in his silver BMW, knocking Billy off his bike and then sped off, leaving him dying in the middle of the road. Williams later returned to the scene, and that's when he was arrested. In court, he pleaded guilty to causing death by dangerous driving and failing to stop. As Brian Williams' defence lawyer began reading a written apology to the family of Billy Harrison, they got up and walked out of the courtroom, saying his only remorse is that he got caught. We don't want to hear it. Sentencing him to seven and a half years in prison and a 15-year driving ban, the judge said, I accept that your guilty plea reflects your regret and remorse. Still, that won't bring back the life of Billy Harrison. Ben Bland, Channel M Today.